Ah, good evening, good evening. Noswetha, Noswetha. It is I, Farmer Ben Croizo. Welcome to the channel. Um, here we are. So, uh, the purpose of this video is, uh, well, hopefully, uh, to get a kind of reliable, high scoring Titan attack for use on rare Titans. Um, and I know um, I have somebody else has done this. This is a, a video that somebody else has done. Uh, I've tried it, I've done it myself, but I'm just, uh, it's an improvement. So, it's an improvement. Uh, which I saw uh, on the internet. I'm afraid I can't remember, in fairness, the name of the the chap who was uh, who was tout who was suggesting it. Uh, he was suggesting it in writing, but I know so. I believe somebody else has done it in a video. So anyway, the concept. Uh, well, I won't explain too much onto the concept now. What I will do is I will go through it. I will do one attack um, without explaining what I'm doing particularly, and then I'll go through what I'm doing, and then I'll do the other two attacks, and we'll see. Uh, that way, hopefully, you'll see some kind of sense. So here we have our rare 11-star uh, Titan, a Thunder Unicorn. Uh, you'll see, incidentally, I'm now in a different alliance, I should just mention that. I am now in Misfit Heroes, uh, who seem like a jolly bunch, uh, fairly fairly solid players. I'm, uh, I've largely come here because of uh, Zsa, Zsa who is at the top here, and co-leader in uh, second place. Um, da -da 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 Hewitt there in the middle, and Jacqueline Kwan, who are um, people who've, who've come and joined my alliance, having seen some of the videos and uh, have helped us out so it's kind of i'm here to help them out i say help out but they, they probably know the game better than me but i'm just here to uh, to take part anyway anyway so here is the titan uh, 11 star blue titan as i say very solid uh, my team is going to be uh, i'm just going to get rid of these now for those who've seen my other videos on the use of uh, titanium shields there's this may um, appear very very similar but there is a key uh, key key difference which I will uh, will come to. Uh, worth mentioning very quickly at this point that um, I will be using minor mana potions because they're very very cheap but if you want to do it more effectively and even quicker use uh, super mana potions um, they are better. I don't really need any other battle items other than the minor mana potions and the titanium shields. So without further ado let's, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Now I haven't quite got the ideal uh, group of heroes for this either as well uh, again not a huge amount I can do about that uh, but there we go oh, there we are one too many um, bum, 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 bum. so here is the titan it's gonna go off perfect right uh, now at this point oh I hit its weak spot that wasn't very clever um, you'll see that in the middle I have my three uh, Bruiser Brother Muggies. Uh, I also have my two non-Bruiser bro Brother Muggies. Well, they were all Bruiser Brother Muggies, but two of them are outside of the range of the Titanium Shield, uh, namely the one that was Wilbur and the other one. Um, I'm not going to waste my time in actually using their special skills as it will take longer. Right, now the only Muggies left are going to be those ones going in the centre. Da, 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 da. There we go, and bomb, and a douche. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Ah, oh, this is going to cost me. Going to cost me this mistake because I didn't have my titanium shield ready for that one. So that's going to cost me because I've lost a muggy. Uh, it will reduce the overall effectiveness of my uh, my attack. Still, never mind. Um, it will still be reasonable, I would think. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. The next time, hopefully, I'll get it a bit quicker and get it a bit better. So there we are, 40,000. It should have been higher if I had actually kept all three muggies alive. Uh, I'll explain this, the strategy because it's incredibly simple, really. Uh, well, I'd say these, the strategy is quite cleverly done. It's cleverly thought out. Um, the actual execution of it is simple. So the first thing I'm going to need... Uh, now, unfortunately, I have my muggy. Now, ideally, you'd want an unleveled muggy. Um, so a level one uh, muggy who's never been ascended at all, never been leveled up at all. Now I did have such a muggy, but unfortunately I ate him because I got to the point where I was like, well, I'm never going to level him up because I'm never going to need two muggies. So he got eaten. Uh, and now for this video, he would be really, really useful. I'm also using Wilbur. Well, Wilbur's okay, um, but really you'd be better off with uh, Gnar or Kehlani just because they're lower leveled really. So the, the, sim the, the strategy is really, really uh, 
like I say, it's a very clever, clever idea uh, and a very reliable one. But it's the um, one I hadn't thought up. This is somebody else came up with this idea, and the actual execution of it is fairly easy. So the idea initially is that you get Wilbur to uh, link everybody together, or Kalani or Gunnar, whoever you use, so that all of your heroes are linked together. Now, ideally, you'd have them all as one stars with one star troops, so that when the Titan goes off and hits them. Uh, they all die in a single wave. And that's why you want um, Wilbur. So Wilbur makes sure they are all dead in like no time at all. Boom, they're all dead. That's what you want. Um, you want Will, You want the two on the flanks to be dead as soon as humanly possible. Um, Muggy is obviously then also really important because Muggy, he does his Brew the Brothers special skill. Now, annoyingly, like I say, I've leveled up his Brew the Brothers special skill. Um... It would be better if he was just a level one, level one Muggy, because you want them to be as weak as humanly possible. But Muggy then turns everybody who comes back it comes back to life. So these three one stars in the middle will come back to life with only uh, two thirds of their strength. Um, so they're even weaker than they already are, um, which is where you want them. You want them to be as weak as possible. The titanium shield then reflects all of the damage back onto the titan so that the three guys in the middle are incredibly weak and every hit with the titanium shield does an extra ton of damage and that is the the principle basically so your titanium shield is doing the damage so that you don't have to now the beauty of this is it's a very consistent way of scoring um you're not dependent on the board really i mean you actually want to avoid um, things like combos and big moves you want to avoid stunning the titan as much as you can because you want the titan to hit you as many times as you can as quickly as you can and you'll notice i didn't even bother using muggy special skills because it would do so little damage compared to the damage the titan would do it's actually just quicker to keep moving with the tiles so uh, let's see that was forty thousand. well hopefully i'll actually get it right this time and remember to use my titanium shield properly let's see if we can uh, if we can actually upgrade that damage a little bit because i think fifty thousand is more uh should be possible so very quickly like i say you can do this more quickly if you use um super mana potions um i am not using super mana potions because i am uh stingy uh annoying a combo that starts off there we go, everybody's dead. I can use my titanium shield on there. Now, ideally, as I say, if everybody was level one, there we are, they're both dead, um, you would always end up with um, just the muggies in the center surviving, which will happen relatively quickly if uh, he's just got to hit the muggies in the center. Uh, so I've got to make, make sure I don't make the same mistake I did last time. So I'm just keeping an eye on the titanium shield. Let's put that back up. The Muggy that's sort of over on the far right, the one that was the original Muggy, um, hopefully he'll die fairly soon. He can die as quickly as he likes. Uh, the rest are all now reflecting the damage. So we're just going to keep on going. Uh, like I say, main thing is I'm trying not to stun the Titan um, because stunning the Titan means that obviously then he isn't hitting me and wasting a turn. Um, there we are. Titanium shield goes back up now. Let's keep going. So he's going to hit me again. Oh. Oh, dang, damn it, the titanium shield didn't go off. I thought I pressed it then. So this one I've messed up as well, which is annoying. There we go. Uh, just keep on going here. Need one more, two more attacks. There we go. So those two, I actually got that's two attacks in a row I've got wrong. So um, 40,000 40, again. Let's just see if we can do it one last time, if I can actually get it right on my last attempt. Oh, I'm running out of shields now. Well, that's just typical. Uh, let me just check see if I've got one ready in the base. I do. That's handy. Uh, I knew there was. I knew I was going to do this video. You see, so I'd already started crafting one. Um, right. Let's hopefully this time I will get it right from the start, and keep it right rather than messing it up as I go along. One, two, three, four. Wilbur goes off. One, two, three, th uh, four. Muggy goes off. There we are. Right. Let's see. Off we go. So bam, he'll go off. Boom, my one stars are all dead. They are now all muggies. Uh, the Bru or Brew the Brothers, I should say, perhaps more accurately, rather than uh, rather than muggies. Uh, uh, right, let's see. Trying to just make sure I don't accidentally, like I say, stun the Titan, because that would be bad. Uh, still got my shield up. So it's mainly the key thing, really, is to keep an eye that you are keeping your titanium shield up. This one's actually best because... 
um, all of my other heroes are already dead, which is ideal. Um, the quicker they die and get out of the way, the better, because now he can only hit my uh, my reflectors, which is exactly what I want him to do. Da, 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 da. Shield's going in there, shield's going in there, shield's going in there. Shield's still up, I'm just keeping an eye, because like I said, the last two times I managed to miss when it went down. Shield back up, there we go. Uh, 20 seconds, well, I'm running out. Once the shield runs out, it's out now, because I haven't got any more. Just going to keep this going. Ideally, I would have had another shield, but never mind. Still going with the unicorn here. Here he goes. And I'm actually out of titanium shields now, which is my fault for not having crafted quite enough. Because that then that attack at the end would have done an extra 12,000 damage because it would have flicked it all back onto him. But that's a much more reasonable score, 53,134. As I said, you can probably get more of a score than that if you have only got a level 1 uh, muggy and like a level one Gnar who would die that a little bit quicker uh, as well. So there we are. So that is the theory. It's it's just quite a nice consistent way of getting uh, decent scores on a Titan. And uh, especially for a rare one, it's quite nice because you'll see there that I scored in three attacks. Um, I scored 40,000, 40,000, 50,000. If I'd got them all right, they all would have been 50,000. Uh, it's only because I messed up the titanium shields on two of the attacks that it dropped. So, uh, yeah, I should have had 150,000. Um, I have flasked it, obviously, because I used a flask at the start of this, so I, that's why my score is so far ahead of everybody else's. Um, but that's the, the basic theory of, um, yeah, uh, the new titanium shield version using muggy and... Uh, a spirit linker like um, Wilbur, Kilani, Gnar, I think they're the M3 that spring to mind, to oh, um, a year would probably do it as well, wouldn't he? Uh, anyway, I re ideally you want one of the three star ones, you want Gnar or Kailani, but again, uh, I won't, I'm sure one of them will turn up at some point in my training camps, but I don't have one of those and I could be waiting for another muggy forever. So there we go. So yes, um, I hope that you have some success with this uh, with this strategy or this tactic, whichever you want to call it. Um, do let me know how you get on. Let me know if you uh, if it help if it's helpful if you use it to score high on more powerful uni uh, titans. Obviously, the more powerful the titan, the more damage it does to you. Uh, it's not worth wasting the titanium shields on like a three, four, five star titan because uh, it's. You know, it's not going to do that much damage to you anyway. So the more powerful the Titan, the more damage that you throw back upon it. Um, anyway, so I hope there was something useful in there. I thought it was quite a fun uh, fun strategy, so I thought I'd share that one with everyone. Um, do please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video. And uh, as I say, I am kind of roaming at the moment. So if you are looking for uh, a visitor, even temporarily, uh, and it would be temporarily, I'm afraid, uh, do let me know. So this is Farmer Ben saying thank you very much for watching. May death come swiftly to your enemies. Take care. Goodbye.